Hi everybody. I wanted to do a quick video today to show you something that came up during the midterm that I realized I hadn't shown you guys how to do yet. And it's a, a very simple step. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add labels to one of the features on our maps. So I'm gonna use the survey points that we created um, to do that. So, uh, and this is the midterm, obviously. I'm gonna use this, the, the survey points the steelhead survey points uh you might not have called them that but they're the three dots that we entered into our into our map so the first thing you want to do is you need to tell arc what the names are for these points so we've already added in our field here right that was called names i had you guys do this for the midterm but um if you just gave me the map i had no idea if you actually had done this step so this is definitely a step that you needed to do um and then what you're gonna do is you're going to go in here and you're gonna to go to properties. And inside properties, you wanna to go to your labels tab up here on the top. I've already done this, you can so you can see that some of these steps are just repeating what I've done. So um, in this label field, these are the um, these are the column headers for your attributes table. So you wanna go down to the one you created that's called names. Or in your case, whatever the name is of the feature, right? So uh, it doesn't. All, it's not always going to be called names or anything like that. It's just whatever your labeling feature you want to you want to have. And then one of the things I do is since we have a dark map here, if I go in here, let me uh, let me go in here and change some of the things that I've already created, and we'll make it so this doesn't. So it just comes in like this would just be basically your your standard default settings, and we say okay. And then the next step, so you notice that there's no names here yet, right? So the next step is you have to go up here. That All we were doing there was telling it where it would find its labels if you were going to label the features. So the next step, you want to go up here to your steelhead survey points, right-click on that, and go down and click this Label Features button. Now you'll see here that it added names, um, but they're really hard to see because we have a really dark map and they came in as black writing. So one of the options that you can do is change the color of your writing, that works sometimes, but if you have a if you have a map that's got a bunch of different kind of colors in there, just going to like a right whiting or something like that might work for some for some of the um, names, but not for all. So, like for example, if one of your names was up over here over this clear cut, if you change everything to white, then the name over the clear cut might look fine in black, but as soon as you change it to white, it might disappear. So, one of the things I do that makes it a little bit easier to see. Is you go in here and you go back into your property settings and you under your labels you go to symbol and then you want to go to this edit symbol button and under edit symbol you have these tabs right here and if you go to mask and turn on halo you can see what that does here this is your example what it's going to look like it puts this little halo of whatever color you're going to put around it um, you can change that in the symbol here and uh, you can change the size here, so you can actually increase your halo or decrease it. I think for this case, I've already looked at it, two looks fine. Um, and then we say OK, we say OK, and OK. Now you can see the names show up really nicely. So that's how you put labels on. So remember, once you go, on, go into your properties and you pick which field your labels are going to be and do your adjustments in here, you have to remember to go here and make sure this label features box or is selected here. And once you do that, your names will show up on your maps. So that's just a step that was in the midterm, if you depending on how you read that section. Uh, but it's something I haven't covered. Obviously, if you didn't do that, uh, you didn't get count, you didn't get marked down for not doing that because I haven't actually shown you how to do it. So, all right, that was just a little short video. I uh, will talk to you guys later. Bye.